What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike. Yes, we're doing it today. We're talking Pokemon. Now, I have a little friend here with me to help me with this video. Go ahead and show yourself. Brrr, boom. Yes, Snorlax will be joining me today on this video because it's a Pokemon video. Now, what are we doing with Pokemon today? Today we're gonna do the Pokemon Go Evolution Watch. Now, recently, I started playing Pokemon Go again. Now, I've been a Pokemon fan since the, the beginning, the 90s. All right, so the way this watch is supposed to work, it's supposed to take your game, your Pokemon Go game, and make it run automatically, pretty much. Just flip the Pokemon Go stops and catch Pokemon. Before you use it, make sure you charge it because this is the second time I'm trying this video. I did it the first time. It wasn't charged. It takes like an hour and a half to charge it. And uh, yeah, just make sure it's charged. Now, I will say this, getting it to charge, it's pretty tedious. You gotta put some muscle to this. Like what you do is you, you take it and you see this strap right here. This has to come off, this comes off. Now getting this off is actually, you gotta put some strength behind this. You, I'm gonna, oh, you see? It's not easy. Once you have the strap off, this little piece right here, this goes into your USB, whatever it could be, a charging brick or whatnot. And you just put it in, plug it in, and you're good to go. Just let it charge, let it run. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours. It's probably gonna last a few days on the charge. Yeah, let's let's hit the road. You gotta go sit down, put your seatbelt on, and we're gonna make a coffee stop because I need coffee. <laughs> Pokemon and coffee. Can't go wrong with that. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I got my coffee. I uh, gave Snorlax a berry, so he has something in his stomach. And uh, all right, let's get started. So one thing I did find is that you have to download a third-party app to use it on the Pokemon Go app. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna screen record everything so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. So what you wanna do is go to your app store, search up the Pokemon Go. Uh, go gotcha. And it's the blue one. I already went ahead and downloaded it. All right, so when you open it, all right, you click connect, and it should connect. All right, so it's telling me the battery percentage, the firmware version, how many steps I took, total steps. So then let's go right into the settings. All right, so I, here we have some settings. Some are on, some are off. I guess this is, this is the access you're gonna give this device here which would be to get Pokestops, unknown Pokemon, I want that. You could, vi you could have it on vibrate, silent, definitely want that. Flip, I'm not too sure. All right, so once this is done, you go over, you go back to your Pokemon Go, you open it up, and uh, it should be, it should sync. I wanna see if it automatically picks it up. So it's, it's synced to the, App, but I don't see it catching Pokemon. All right, so let's go to settings. And it should be all the way in the bottom. Pokemon Go Plus. All right, Pokemon Go Plus. Let me click it. That is my available device. working does it gotta be closer There's a finding Pokemon Go Plus click the button on Pokemon oh I guess I gotta let me see I don't even know how to turn this okay there it goes connecting to Pokemon Go Plus alright we got a connection guys Let's see if it catches all these. Now, I'm not touching nothing. Pokemon in range. It's doing something because I just did a field research. Shello was caught. Is it catching Froakie? 
Froakie ran away. Okay, that's cool. You see, I'm not touching anything. It's doing it on its own. It's doing, it's catching the arena now. The arena was caught. Pokemon in range. Flareon. That's my buddy. You can't catch Flareon. Pokemon in range. Mona, I think that's that one's name. All right, so it did. It did everything it said it was going to do. It just caught all. There was a whole bunch of Pokemon. It's doing the stop right now. It's doing the Pokemon stop. It just did the Pokemon stop. Receive. It works. Simple. You want to review it? <laughs> it don't get much clearer than this. I just did it. It didn't take much to sync. It just. What, all I did was pretty much just turn it on and connect it. And it connected to the app. It, the app is running. I have the screen recording up. And. Uh, yeah, it caught all those Pokemon that were there. It caught the Pokestop there. Is it a good buy? Yes, my friends, it is. Hey, what do you think, Snorlax? Huh? Snorlax. <laughs> I want to see if it if it hits the Pokemons in the gyms while I'm moving. Right now, I'm parked. I'm stationary. All right, Snorlax is strapped in. Now I'm strapped in. I'm going to hit the screen record again. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Is this worth it? Is it worth having a device where you don't have to look at it, look at the watch, or look at your phone? I think so, because you're not distracted, you know? I wonder if it does gyms too, Pokemon gyms. The gyms are stops. So, the gym is a stop, and you can flip and invest in Pokeballs. You guys see what it's doing? So if I'm correct, there should be a Poke Stop there. Yeah, there. And like a gym coming up here. I wanna see if it grabs it. I haven't looked at my phone. I'm not gonna look at my phone. I don't touch my phone while I'm driving. So guy, don't Pokemon and drive. It worked. I, I'm, I'm, I, if you could tell, I'm like shocked how how good and how precise it works. It works as advertised. Um, it does what it does. It did the Poke Stops. It did the Pokemon. So yeah, guys, me and Snorlax, we approve of this device. Yes, we do. It doesn't get better than that. You know what I mean? It doesn't get better than that. All right, so Snorlax is hungry again. I'm going to feed him another berry. And... We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.